What's going on guys? It's uh, Hayes Gaming here. Um, and so I know the Nightmare Mission is about to reset tomorrow morning um, at 8 a.m. Pacific. Uh, so I just really wanted to put out the rest of the no death runs that I had. Um, so this is going to be my samurai one. Um, I know I posted a an assassin one on um, the last video. So if you haven't seen that one, please go and watch it. Um, and the next run that I am going to post, um, I believe this is a no death and we did all the objectives in the same run. Um, if not this one, I believe it's the next one, which is going to be a Ronin uh, gameplay. Um, I was playing the Ronin and we managed to get all the objectives. Um, as well as not die in the process, uh, which was really sick. It was like one of our first runs, actually. So I'll go ahead and post that one after this. Um, uh, but yeah, we're just going to get into this run here. So to just explain some of the, the things we did here. Um, it is going to be a little different since I am playing Samurai instead of Assassin, like I said in the last video. Um, some of the things that you will do are obviously going to be a little different. The things play out a little different because I am playing a different class, uh, which that matters quite a bit. Uh, so without further ado, let's jump right in. Okay, so we're just starting off the same uh, as before uh, with the last video. Sticky bomb, double crit, finish him off. Crit, nothing too different here. We both have bows. I use it for like uh, crowd control. Easy money there. So here, just gonna charge my ult, make sure it's ready for the Tengu's at the end. Uh, really wasn't taking any chances there, since it is a no-death run, you really gotta be in that mindset. Um, just roll out of the way when he's doing the slam attacks and sort of just kite around him. Don't even risk it. Don't take the chance um, if, if this is really just what you're going for. Oh my god. And if you're wondering why that did so much damage, I'm actually using a um, the charm, the samurai charm with rising tempo on it, uh, which is a bonus that gives uh, a stack stacking damage bonus um, based off of kills that you get uh, without taking damage. Um, so, yeah, I was at like, I don't know how many stacks at that point. I don't really know how many times it stacks. There's not an indicator. Um, hopefully they, they add that in the future, little indicators of, of buffs that you have so we can see that. <laughs> So right there, that was that one of those the risky maneuver that I was talking about in my last video. Um, so it's going to be the hit roll, hit roll. You can sort of sidestep that swinging move. So let's take a look. So as soon as he's about to, he's about to hit you, just press circle, swing again. And then immediately, immediately press circle again. And the same thing after that. So another hit and swing, a very risky maneuver, especially if you're trying not to get hit. Uh, but once you get the timing down, it's really not that difficult. So right there, um, I messed up, but if you jump off the cliff, throw a sticky bomb, you can still get the critical strike in that time. Um, I just messed up right here. Be careful there that your teammate doesn't pull the other one too far out. Um, because you see, I did miss a strike right here, and that could have easily ended up in his uh, his teammate reviving. Right there. See, I missed that strike right there, but just make sure that you guys keep them sort of close together. Yeah, 
don't know if you guys know this or not, but especially for those who didn't play the story mode, which I know I've seen a lot more people now that haven't. Um, in Archer, we'll always yell before he shoots at you. So you don't, you technically don't even have to look at the Archer nor know, know where he is. Um, if you're just trying to attack someone else, technically you are, you, it's better to attack the archers first. So you're not, you don't have to worry about getting pelted, uh, with poison arrows. Uh, but in this circumstance here, um, I, I know he's here obviously, but I, I listened to his yell. I wasn't actually looking at him right there. You hear him yell followed by the shot. So right there, I know, I know to sidestep when he yells. I mean, that's something that you'll build a habit of if you played single player. Um, if you didn't, um, then, you know, there you go. Combo again coming out, just getting absolutely wrecked. These Mongol leader dudes have a lot of stamina for for some reason. I mean, I mean, obviously they're they're leaders, duh. Um, so just make sure to like team up on them. Just waiting for my sticky. It's like twenty seconds out. Okay, Wait, here we go. Chapter two. Um, so just rush to the back. This back dry patch of grass. Um, the reason why we didn't do the owning treasure in that area, we're we're just we're literally just going for the no death run. Um, so with these nightmare stories, we're really just going for one thing. Um, you can do everything. You'll see in the next run, we managed to do everything and get the no death in the same run. Um, it just makes it a lot harder that way. Um, but if you're just going for the outfit, as I stated in my last video, um, just um, just you know skip all that stuff except for the scroll, of course, because that's free. Um, skip the curse as well, um, and just literally just go for the the no death if that's all that you're looking for. And as you saw as well, um, another good thing about having a hunter on your team, as you see after this, see the immediately after this, look, look what um, Madoka does. Boom, explosive arrows already starts working on them while we're taking out these guys. That way, when we go to them, um, they won't, they, they'll eventually like disperse and go like farther and farther back to try and, you know, get you out of longer range. Um, but because obviously we have a hunter on the team, uh, they can just shoot that explosive arrow and start taking away at them. Okay, so unlike the last video I posted, uh, where we took this a different way, uh, this time we're just running straight to the back. We're going straight to the Tengus, and he's gonna ult them. We're just gonna take them out immediately and worry about the dogs later. <laughs> Alt, alt. Okay, so that went super poorly. What was supposed to happen was they were they were supposed to be a little closer together. Um, so he he started off with the alt right, and usually I would I would have a sticky here. If I would have had a sticky, you know, and he had a sticky, that that would have been done deal. So he alt. And ideally, in a perfect world, I would have had my sticky. Like I said, I would have had my sticky. Boom, he's done. I didn't activate my explosive blade right here, um, which was, you know, I should have activated a little earlier. Um, but since, um, you know, I saw that his wasn't dead either, I just popped out the old. Alt, alt. Yeah, so I, I didn't make it, obviously, which was really bad. And they could have responded. That happened to us a bunch in a lot of failed runs. Um, but usually this is supposed to go a lot smoother. Dog, 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 dog. And then from here on out, we're just sort of taking out the dogs. Oh dogs are super easy, super simple. Um, just hit, roll away. You know? And then taking out these guys. Really, we're just building meter again before we go through. We could have just hit the drum and just dipped, um, but we're just building meter for chapter three. Master Katana for the win. And if both of you commit to one dog, um, there's no way it'll explode anyway. Oh, wow. 
All right, so same thing I talked about in my last video. We're gonna go left. In. Sort of get this guy low. I right. see in this run we're we're a lot less vocal than in my last run, number one, because I'm playing with somebody different um than in the previous video. Um and also just because, you know, we've we've ran this like so many times at this point. If you run it with the same people, you pretty much just, you know you're that you know that link you sort of have that that you know uh co-opness you know i should say i can't even figure out the word for it uh really comes into play um so you really don't need to talk as much if we both know the general premise of what we're doing decide to hit the offering a little earlier this time rather than taking our path um to the left and sort of working our way around uh, we sort of found a different route to take um, this is multiple ways that you can do this last area okay so instead of hanging left and going all the way around we sort of uh, went on the top area of the camp instead And we're not linked either, uh, which means we have a little bit more freedom to move, of course. Mongo leaders are super annoying. Fuck, he, he spotted me. So I remember the triple Onis are back there as well. Uh, so we decided we wanted to take those out a little earlier instead of leaving them for last. Oh, they saw us. What we can do is like I can uh no, yeah, lower lower them yeah. yeah I don't know why my mic audio is not getting picked up in this video um but pretty much we accidentally pulled the triple tether that we saved at the end in my last video we pulled them um over here so this is a great area the starting area um in chapter three if you manage to if you do pull too many um, this is a great place to just come back um, and sort of assess the situation and sort of just take it slow. <laughs> Alright, this one's slow. No. Okay, so for these guys, the purple guys, the moon stance does not work. So if you're using, if you're trying to cheese them and stagger cheese them, you know, like in, in campaign stagger cheesing, uh, it's not going to work. Uh, for these guys, it does work in any other regular big men. But for the purple guys, um, you know, I'm sorry to say that stagger cheesing um, is not a thing, doesn't work, does zero, does zero, does nothing. I mean, it, it does it like a tiny bit. Um, but it's not going to be like as heavy as these guys right here. So just keep that in mind. Oh. I mean, look at that. L look at his stagger. Look at his bar. Oh. Yeah, you try doing that to a purple guy, you're going to get slapped. So just don't do it. Uh, don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Don't risk it. Uh, my hunter is using a ricochet build, of course, so um, right there. And he's also using the, the five strike as well. Boom. So if you have a hunter on your team with the five striker ability, I forget what it's called, the Ayabuchi Sune, I believe. Um, just get a, like a bunch of enemies low and let the hunter take care of the rest. 
find off Rangar. Uh, we we can we can like kill them from off top. Hey, wait for me. You want to heal real quick so the gold comes back. So as you see now, instead of taking that left path and going around like that, the whole camp was pretty much just a circle. Instead of going left, um, we pretty much just went right this time since we did take out a chunk of enemies uh, on this side already. So pretty much on the right side, it's going to be these two regular tethered onis. Um, in the center, you have the triple uh, fatties. And then you have behind this sensor here, you have the two, the, the two tethered spearmen um, as well. And then if you keep going towards this right side, you're going to have the two purple onis. And then back a little bit more, you're going to have the two fatties tethered and then a couple other tethered uh, normal enemies as well. So we pretty much, so once you play this enough times, you pretty much know where the enemies are um, and you can sort of just plan your route that way. But you don't have to go left and just, you know, go all the way around like in my last video. So this is just an alternate way of doing it. We can come from behind. Uh, go from behind or... Tank couple from behind and uh, sort of find the other one. So we're going to do the double crit strike strategy here. Go go. All right, my guy's one shot. I can go for the. Nice. You know what? I'm just gonna heal. Just hit heal. I don't want to risk this. Oh, they're Start there, coordinate with your teammates on those headshots. Dog, dog, dog. I don't know this army. Oh, you see right there, I just waste no time at all. Um, those spearmen are pretty much the hardest enemies in the game, in my opinion. Um, so I'm just not wasting any time. I know the fat guys can just be kited around um, and sort of just cheesed, uh, but these spearmen, um, just take them out. I can just play safe and headshot them from afar. Oh, purple, purple. I'm uh, jumping from the top. So right there, that's another thing you can do. A um, little tip. So instead of side step, so I roll out the way, right? I know when, like, I've been hit by this move enough, like, to know like when that hitbox is ending um so right there so as soon as his thing like a cross goes like across his head right there you can already be safe enough to load up your attack so that's what i do i preemptively load up water stance uh water sword um as his animation is ending so as soon as his animation ends mine starts and i connect Where's the other guy? Wait, let him come through. I'm, I'm, I can headshot them. No, not yet. So again here, I know that, you know, my uh, my partner can sort of just wipe a whole area a whole area of people since he's using the ricochet uh, bow, the skipping stone, uh, which is the best bow in the game. If you're not using it, I don't know what you're doing as a hunter. If you have it in your inventory and it's not equipped, um, I don't know what you're doing. Uh, it's broken. Uh, but uh, so we're pretty much just getting him low. Uh, that way he can just wipe them all out. I got all uh, group, group them up, group them up. Or I just stay there, I'm just gonna open there.
I need an offering. And then after them, you still have these guys in the back. ロードには叶わず。敵は口果てた。津島の双子が食い物にされることはなくなった。なあ、really。大きな災いをまだ埋めている。Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it for this run. Uh, Samurai No Death. Um, pretty much uh, almost similar to the Assassin run, um, but really just using that Samurai ult to really take out those tougher enemies um, is really going to help you uh, more in the long run. Um, yeah, that's about it. Just play your roles right. Use the Hunter to your advantage. Use that ultimate um, to sort of wipe out a big group of enemies. You could have like 10 whole enemies in the field and the hunter will hit every single one of them if you're using that skipping stone uh, bow. Uh, so please, please um, use that bow if you have it on a hunter. And I will put timestamps in the description down below uh, for each um, you know chapter, of course. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. This is going to be the hunter no death run uh where my teammate is a ronin so this is going to be a hunter ronin team up um let's see how it plays out okay so we're in the first area here obviously don't need to show the beginning because i've shown that so many times already everybody knows how to do that by now and you should uh go to my um assassin video Nice. So we're at the Onis now. I'm using the... I believe I'm using the skipping stone bow in here. I should at this point. Use the skipping stone bow. So these guys are going to be super annoying. If you try to do the hold down attack um, on them when they're about to lose their stamina bar, they'll they'll parry you every time. Watch. See? Just parry. Parry. Okay? You have to use the slower triangle attack, um, the more risky version, to break his, to, to take off this, this last bit here. Um, so keep that in mind. Watch. See? Boom. Then it, he'll finally let his guard down after you do the slow attack. And there it is again. So annoying. They're so annoying. So I am using the skipping stone bow uh, with the ricochet arrows. Okay, so this is another way you can take these guys out. You can literally just sit up here on this rock and just pelt them to death. Um, that's it. They won't. They won't chase you. They won't do anything like that. So another just variation. Shout out to my boy Madoka for pointing that out to me. Uh, so this is just another variation of uh, how to do that. How to do this part. Lowering his health. That one. Uh. Oh, it does work. It does work. Oh, wow. Okay, another thing with the Ronin, concussive bombs are OP. Use the bomb packs, concussive bombs and blast uh, blast powder bombs. They are super strong. You can throw them so fast. You can throw so many at once, and it literally just staggers um, the enemies to hell and back. They cannot do anything if you constantly throw concussive bombs. Uh, so use those to your advantage. And then obviously you see the skipping stone bow. If I hit one guy, the, the headshot uh, triggers. The headshot will be chained to the next guy. 
And boom, we didn't even have to fight him, for real. Come A little more difficult without the samurai. You can't just insta kill uh, them. But I got something for him. And keep in mind, this is before I had the five strike, the Ai Luchitsune ability, and I did. I don't have the explosive arrow either. So keep that in mind in this run. Uh, definitely made it a lot harder. <laughs> Go. It does a chunk of damage. Ah, oh, it's not worth it. Use the healing drum. There we go, all done. Next chapter. Oh, never mind, I got smoke. Okay, so I activate my way of the flame here. Um, I am using that um, with the water sword, and he also has smokes as well, um, so, and stickies. I don't have it. I don't have it. I don't have it. So right there, what was supposed to happen was after we did our critical strike, he would smoke us, um, and then we go back in for another critical strike. Um, that's another way to do it if you are running smokes instead of a healing gourd. Water sword combo. So we're just gonna take these guys straight on. Um, if you are a class that doesn't have a healing item, a uh, healing essence, which is everybody except for Ronin, um, use that gourd um, just in case uh, for poison insurance. Um, he's not running a gourd because he doesn't have to because he's a Ronin. He has the healing essence and an ult as well. Water cup. Come here. Come here. Dropping that essence. I don't know how I missed that. I'm gonna wait for my sticky. Okay, so right there, super risky, but as you can see, um, unless you are a samurai with melee damage and full stacks of rising tempo, it will take about six strikes to kill these dogs. So let's count it up. So, so that was super risky. So six strikes um, is definitely a butt clencher, but if you want to go for it, uh, go ahead. Or you just double team them like that. Yeah, make sure also, if you're going to commit on a dog, just do it. Uh, you're going to get your teammate killed that way. Um, that happened before where I started going in on a dog and he thought I was going to stay committed, but I ended up backing out. Hello. Come here, come here. Uh, I'm not a hunter. Hold on. What do you mean smoke this? Yeah, so I was telling him right here Wait, to use does, a does it cover? Bomb. Um, it's not the same thing as the assassin one, but if you use a smoke bomb in the vicinity of an enemy, they're not going to see you, and you can crit strike them. For us, so I'll take a left. 
Okay, so we're getting into position here. Boom. Stick him, sticky, sticky. So I throw a sticky. Simple. Oh, wow, that was easy. Yeah. Cool. Dude, Tengu, Tengus are glass cannons. They're, they're not supposed to be these tanky freaking enemies that can wipe you pretty quick like the spearhead onis the reason why they're dangerous is because they're tanky and they have a lot of damage the tangus are literally just damage just glass cannons will just wreck you um but their health bar is is pretty poop uh so yeah take advantage of that wait moving on to chapter three. Oh, did i mention this is all objectives as well oh yeah all objectives and no death just like the run and run boss God, I cannot tell you how hard this is. How lucky we are, man. <laughs> no explosive arrow, no eye of Uchitsune upgrade. Yeah, as soon as you see your tether go red, roll towards each other. Doesn't matter if there's enemies, it does not matter. Roll towards each other, then move out. You do not want to die like that. Oh, that was a close God. One. But he has an ult, remember? He has an ult. So we're pretty much luring him out, the same as the last run, because with my ricochet thing, I can hit up to six people with it. If I had the Ibuchi Sune upgrade, I could do ten. Yeah, I'm, I'm popping. I'm popping. Uh, I don't have it. Okay, so I knew we weren't going to get the kill there. So rather stand there in the middle of like four enemies. Uh, that was our mistake. We killed too early. We weren't communicating. And this enemy revived. Any heals. I don't have any heals. And here comes the ult. And you see that ricochet in the back over there. Um, I didn't even have him targeted. See? Yeah, it was supposed to be for these three. But the ricochet ricocheted off of him and hit him in the head. I'm pretty sure. Let's, let's watch that again. Oh, never mind then. Okay, so it did hit these three. Okay, so this is about like the, the distance. It's not going to ricochet if they're this far away. They do have to be pretty close to each other. So that is my mistake. Get this guy. And another revive. And then he ends up dying. Yeah, so this is just really just poor communication. And he's about to res again. Okay, so at this point, we just say, dude, just back up. <laughs> Second try. That dude, I'm telling you, we got so lucky this run. He dies again. Let's say if he re revives for the third time. Yeah, I just popped my way in the flame. I'm like, screw this. Okay, so that that was bad. That, that was really bad. If that would have happened with like Spironis or whatever, we would have died. Apologize for that PlayStation sound in the background. My PlayStation was on. I'm sorry about that. Okay, this last time we're going up top. Shit. Oh wow, the whole gang is here. I'm poisoned, uh, I'm poisoned, I'm poisoned. So we pretty much bite off way more than we can chew here. Uh, um, 
and we decide to get out. Jump off, jump off, jump off. Yeah, we gotta go. So we pretty much pulled, like, almost the majority of the enemies. It's called the pull and run strategy. Or the pull out strategy. I suggest a lot of you uh, invest in that one. You go in, you go out. Um, you sort of, you know, lure them outside. Uh, just, you know, don't be afraid to pull out, fellas. Don't be afraid. And you got to be careful of this right here. So this guy came out and his teammate, like, didn't follow him. His tether, his soul, whatever. His soul tether did not follow him. Dude, we're... A lot of them didn't, which is annoying. Uh, so now we're kind of stuck in this situation where we have these three guys who are low, ready to kill, and we got their buddies over the fence. So if this happens, no really just take it slow and sort of try and lead them back. Nice. So this is one of those just self-conscious things. So I know, so I'm going for this guy, right? And I know this guy's doing his AOE, uh, but I know that my attacks, Water Sword kind of pushes you forward. So I kind of just kept aggressing. Look, see, kept aggressing. And eventually um, I would be out of the circle if I have just kept attacking. Um, so that's things you got to be aware of too, like on the side, like know where you're going to end up after you do a certain animation. That includes kill animations. Hold on. Like this. Like that. Like that that small second. So this this is probably one of the main reasons a lot of people die. This right here, that that little second that I'm in this animation, a spearhead Oni could have been charging up his AoE and rushing me right now and could have just killed me. You know, if I had been lower health. Um so stuff like that. So really just take into consideration like what kill animation could happen right now. What animation could I get stuck in right now? Uh, because that is a thing they haven't added like iframes like sort of we got a bag as a community um, to sort of push for iframes on stuff like that uh, so yeah um, so like the water sword ability the uh, the triangle attack so when you slice you sort of your character slices upward and sort of just turns around and stands there for a second that's actually one of the shorter ones compared to like the one where you sort of sweep the enemy by their feet that one's a little longer so just keep those things in mind like as you're playing and sort of like have your head on a swivel group up i think whole gang's there oh another thing about the ricochet arrow if you shoot a fire arrow at a at a at a at an enemy's head um it will ricochet off um and catch the other enemy on fire as well op so yeah that that was super lucky some of these tethers really last a long time after death it takes a while for the respawn to happen so really be careful of that i kind of messed up i ulted a little bit too early without having sight of the other enemies uh, but we got really lucky that we managed to take out that triple tether normal that's another animation you can get stuck in see right there right that's that's a perfect example so right there i run i know that animation's pretty fast of me slicing through this guy you can kind of roll out of it pretty quick um so boom slice through right here and he's he knows he's ready for he's coming for that booty i know he is and if i had been uh, any other animation if i would have been just stuck in he would have came what just took me out but like i said before in the previous run like i said before i actually probably wouldn't have been screwed because like i said if these guys are coming at you all you have to do is roll to the right and you won't get hit I roll anyway, just because, you know, I'm paranoid. Help, 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 help. Oh, fuck. So, boom. I'm smoking, I'm smoking, I'm smoking. You made ask for help right there. So, yeah, I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what they're going to use. So, boom, I pop the I'm stagger smoking, arrow. I'm smoking, I'm smoking, What did I say about that oh, stagger fuck. arrow? Help, 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 help. So, he calls for help. Boom. He calls for help. I immediately, immediately, without a second thought, pull out that stagger arrow, give him an opportunity to get out. 
Oh, fuck. Team effort, baby. Team effort. I'm smoking. I'm smoking. I'm smoking. Yeah, you are. <laughs> uh, go back. Go back. Go back. He got lucky. He didn't get hit right there. Gotta watch that tether. Oh, I don't know how I'm not nice. getting these headshots. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, I don't know what's going on here. I apologize. Ooh. I got some good range and resolve gain. There goes his ult. We have a normal guy back here. Sort of leading them all together. Popping the ult. Boom. He's back up. Oh, fuck. Hmm? Oh, no, no, no. Try to jump up there. That's a fail. Oh, so yeah, we're sort of just going to lead this guy back, walk him back like a dog. Uh, back to his brother. Should we go for an offering? Because I'm, I'm out of... So. Okay, just waiting for his brethren to appear. Okay, which he's not. And there he is. Yeah. I make the kill call here, I believe. I wait a little bit, actually. Super risky. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Drop the healing and we're good to go. Play to your class's strengths. Use everything at your class's disposal. I got my bombs ready. Just play it safe. Clocked right there. He's just gonna pop his ult. Sees me low, just pop his ult. Okay. And right there, he actually gets hit in the middle of his ult, but you're immune during your ult. You cannot die. You cannot die during your ult. It's impossible. So if you need to get a quick iframe out and you really don't want to die, just ult. So yeah, I get clocked right there. He pops his oh. ult. Watch his health bar. So watch his health bar. So he gets clocked right there. And so do I because of shared wounds. But because he's in his ult, you, he cannot die. Cannot die. So if you see some crowmen or something like that, and you're getting pelted by ult, if you're about to die, um, you know it 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 will save your life, especially if you're a Ronin. Just pop in the heels, and he knows he's gonna get healed after this. Go back, go back, come here, come here. Wait, they've grouped up, right? Look at that. Look at that, dude. Concussive bombs are broken, bro. And he's using the 50% ghost tool uh, damage as well. So look. Right? Look, look. I mean, goodness gracious. Boom. We did it. Nice. Oh, not yet. We still have a couple fatties over here. Uh, we know how this goes. I mean, come on. Oh, uh, this guy uh, needs to work. I don't have, uh... Yeah. I think he's saying he didn't have water stuff. Boom! Uh, time trial. Run for the gate. Still had a little bit more enemies, I believe. Boom! And we're done! That's it. This was accidental. We didn't even mean to do all the objectives and get no death, uh, but it had just happened that way. So if you need both, um, 
There we go. And there are the rewards. And there it is. So a couple closing things here. If you need both, uh, such as for next week, if you want the outfit, if you didn't get the outfit this week, don't worry. Um, you can get it tomorrow um, or at the time of this recording tomorrow. But uh, for week two, Friday, 8 a.m. Pacific, um, that is when the resets happen. Um, if you need both, if you need the outfit um, and the, the hat or whatever class item, um, go for all the objectives. Just go for all the objectives. Do it while you can. If someone dies, oh, well. At least you did an all-objectives run. The next time you do it, skip the objectives. You don't have to get the treasure. You don't have to do the curse. Get the scroll because it's free. Um, and just make it easier on yourself. And do it that way. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all the classes now. Um, I'm sort of just going to um, wrap them all up together. They should be wrapped up all together. Um, and I have the assassin video as well. That'll be in the description down below. Um, but I hope you enjoyed and I hope you managed to see how it plays out differently depending on what class you are, depending on what comps, little things here and there. Um, but you know, like I said, some encounters you do need to handle them a different way, depending on, you know, what class you're on, what you have at your disposal, the tools you have and stuff like that, uh, different variations, different paths, uh, stuff like that. So yeah, uh, I will get on that week two um, grind for you guys as soon as it drops. Uh, me and my boys, homeboys are going to be on it. Um, so we can hopefully get a guide out for you uh, for that as well. I did hear it was going to be stranded dead. Um, I don't know who said that, but apparently that's a little rumor has it. Um, if it is, the stranded dead is actually one of the easier missions. So I, I'd like to see how that becomes a nightmare mission. Um, but if you enjoyed, please like and subscribe for more. Uh, we're going for that world's first raid completion. So stay tuned for that. I'm going to be streaming that most definitely. Um, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.